Welcome to Fort Drum and to Senator Ritchie's 2012 Veterans Hall of Fame celebration. As we begin, I would invite all of you to stand and join in reciting the pledge, which will be led by Oswego County Legislator and Hall of Fame nominee Ronald Ciccone to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. John. And salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. You can all be seated now. My name is Jess Renzi, and I will be your MC for this afternoon's events. Before I turn over the podium to our host, Senator Patty Ritchie, there are a few people and organizations we need to recognize. First, on behalf of Senator Ritchie, let me say thank you to the Fort Drum, the 10th Mountain Division, and Major General Mark Milley for offering us the use of the post and for your support of the Veterans Hall of Fame program. Unfortunately, General Milley could not join us. He was here a little bit earlier. But we are honored to have with us two representatives of the journal, the general, excuse me, Command Sergeant Major Rick Merritt. <laughs> and Colonel Rich Clark, the Deputy Commanding General for Operations. We'd also like to thank Kent Bolk of Fort Drum's 10th Mountain Division Museum who played an important role in helping us with today's events. You are welcome to tour the museum next door during the reception and after the event. We'd also like to thank the USO for allowing us the use of this facility. Everyone here knows and appreciates all the good work and hospitality you continue to show the troops and veterans. I would also like to let you know that as a special addition to today's celebration, Senator Ritchie has arranged for each nominee to record a message that will be submitted to the New York State Veterans Museum for inclusions in its Veterans Oral History Project. Nine nominees elected to participate, and there is a DVD copy available for highlights from these interviews here today. Now, I would like to introduce our host, Senator Patty Ritchie. I too want to extend my thanks to the commanding general and I appreciated him taking a couple minutes to speak to me before he had to fly out. And also for General Clark, thank you for being here today. Uh, I want to thank the USO and everyone who made this event uh, possible. I know a lot of work went into it, my staff of course, but a lot of those uh, on Fort Drum took uh, some of their time out to make sure that this event uh, really reflected the true meaning of what we're trying to do here today. So it, it really is humbling to have all of the nominees here. And uh, after reading some of your bios, I'm just so impressed and honored to have uh, you in my district and be able to represent you, so thank you. Today we are celebrating true American heroes, the men and women who put on a uniform and stand the line to defend our freedom. I'm humbled of your service and your sacrifice. We have today in our midst soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines who played an important part in a role in Americans' history, most important moments. And the list is really, uh, once again, um, humbling uh, and uh, impressing to see how many of you served your country and served your country well. So with us today we have survivors of the D-Day invasion, the Battle of the Bulge, a German prisoner of war, veterans of Korea, Vietnam, Panama, Bosnia, Somalia, and the War on Terror, a guard for President Eisenhower, a member of a bomber crew in the middle of the Cuban Missile Crisis. There are a few honorees who could not be here today, including two who were sadly lost in action. So if we could just have a moment, uh, pause in a moment of silence to remember those who lost their lives serving our country and also to really remember and pray for those who are still out there protecting us and risking their life each and every day. I am truly honored to be able to recognize and thank each and every one of you. The Veterans Hall of Fame is about your service and sacrifice, but it's also about you, what you've continued to do after your military career 
to help make our communities all a better place to live. You can read about each one of the nominees in the journal that we've created, which lists only some of your accomplishments, and on the wall plaques that you see displayed around the room. I invite you to take those home to share with your friends and family, and I um, look forward to presenting each and every one of you with a certificate um, honoring your service to uh, the country and to this district. So once again, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. It really is a humbling opportunity for me to get to acknowledge all that you've been able to do in service of your country. Jess? I will now call the names of each of the honorees and ask that you come forward to receive your certificate. James Williams, Jr. is with the United States Army, Jefferson County. Timothy Ambrose, United States Air Force, Jefferson County. Clarence Berry, United States Army, St. Lawrence County. Michael Theodore Bice, Army National Guard, Jefferson County. Nellie Coakley, United States Army, St. Lawrence County. <laughs> Madison Cobb, United States Army, Jefferson County. Donald Cook, United States Army, St. Lawrence County. Paul Courtright, United States Army, Jefferson County. Richard Erb Sr., United States Marine Corps, Oswego County. Luther Farnsworth, United States Army, Jefferson County. <laughs> Ronald Joe Fields, United States Air Force, St. Lawrence County. <laughs> Reverend Moritz Fuchs, United States Army, Oswego County. Raymond Gandia, United States Army, Jefferson County. <laughs> Judy Gonzalez Wallace, United States Army, Jefferson County. Cassandra Gould, United States Army, Jefferson County. <laughs> Willie Hairston, United States Army, Jefferson County. <laughs> Jeremiah Pete Havens, St. Lawrence County. J. 
Jeffrey Hoyton, United States Navy, Jefferson County. Stanley Kaminsky, United States Army, Jefferson County. Francis Kehoe, United States Marine Corps, Oswego County. Russell Lynch, United States Army, Jefferson County. Leo Pauly Markeriel Jr., United States Navy, Jefferson County. Russell Marsden, United States Army, Oswego County. Charles McConnell, United States Air Force, Jefferson County. John McGraw, United States Army, Oswego County. <laughs> Thomas Orrin Morrison, United States Army, St. Lawrence County. William James Nasworthy, Jr., United States Army, Jefferson County. <laughs> Tyler Pickett, United States Army, Jefferson County. Staff Sergeant Pickett was killed in action in Iraq in 2008. Patrick Rourke, United States Air Force, St. Lawrence County. John Ruzinski, United States Marine Corps, Army Reserve, Oswego County. <laughs> Ronald Ciccone, United States Navy, United States Army, Oswego County. Joseph Thynart, Army National Guard, Jefferson County. First Lieutenant Thynart was killed in action in Afghanistan in 2012. <laughs> Gerald F. Tig, United States Navy, Jefferson County. Charles Van Sickle, Jr., United States Army, Jefferson County. <laughs> Michael Vaughn, United States Army, Oswego County.
Edward Wallace, United States Army, Jefferson County. Rick White, United States Army, Jefferson County. Arthur Wilson, United States Navy, St. Lawrence County. May we have Donald Cook from the United States Army, St. Lawrence County come up and join us. Plummer has been selected as Senator Ritchie's 2012 Veterans Hall of Fame inductee. Colonel Plummer served over 21 years in the United States Army. He served in Vietnam as Chief of Staff with the 82nd Airborne Division at Fort Bragg and right here at Fort Drum where he oversaw 15,000 fighting men and women. Colonel Plummer played a key role as part of a planning cell task with finding a new home for a new light infantry division, bringing the 10th, Mission to 10th Mountain Division to Northern New York. Following his retirement in 1991, Colonel Plummer continued to give back in service to the Army and to this community. He is the founder of the Adopt a Platoon program at Fort Drum, which encourages closer ties between combat soldiers and our community. His continuing service has earned him honors, including the Association of the Army's Biddle Award, the Shapiro Award locally, and now induction into the New York State Senate Veterans Hall of Fame. That concludes our program. On behalf of Senator Patty Ritchie, I would like to extend congratulations to all this year's nominees. You are invited to join Senator Ritchie for refreshments. If you wish, you are welcome to tour the 10th Mountain Division Museum right next door. And I would like to remind you to remember to collect your plaque uh, that's on the walls as you leave today. Thank you all for coming. Oops.